What's up everybody, CHM Carnivores here. It is June 4th, I believe, so it's time for our first installment of the Grow Tent Tour. Yes, I shaved my face, sorry about that. It will grow back sometimes, you know. Eh. But first installment, June 4th, let's get started. I'm gonna cover the uh, table today, and then we'll go from there. See you in a minute. What's up everybody, CHM Carnivores here. Um, it is June 4th, so that is time for the first installment of the uh, grow how grow tent greenhouse tour if you will i'm going to touch on this table for now and then we'll go the next installment will be the wall and then some of these up top and then we will talk through some other plants it is really humid in this grow tent right now i've turned off the fan so you'll be able to hear me um, we're going to go ahead and crack right into it uh, and try to keep this video as short as possible but there's a lot of cool stuff that's happened since the may update and i cannot wait to share that with you First thing up is this big, beautiful uh, Nepenthes Truncata Titan by Truncata Giant. It has put out an absolutely beautiful picture. Now, what's really cool about this one is Titan is a more yellow uh, green Truncata, but I think they, they must um, breed them with a lot of red uh, Pacian sort of, uh, or Truncata D, because uh, a lot of their pictures come out in this red, and I love it, absolutely beautiful. So that is doing well. It had a, a, tough, a tough time there for a little bit, but it is doing just fine. The next one is one that I've highlighted before in videos, and I can't wait to show this to you guys again. This is called Thimbleton by Polkra. Thimbleton is a mixture of, it's a Leilani Nepenthes, and it's a mixture of Merliana and Truncata, and then you have Polkra. What is crazy about this plant is that every pitcher produces a different color and a different pattern. So here we have this very much a candy stripe with a purple interior. Down here, we have a very, ah, we have a very green, see if I can get it out without breaking it. A uh, very green pitcher. Now this isn't because it's new, it will stay this green. Well, that's a terrible Vic picture, but you can see it. It will stay that green the entire time. And so here's an older one that has a little bit of green, a little bit of stripe. This plant, every single pitcher produces a new, different uh, variation of pitcher. Fantastic. Now back here, if uh, you guys remember the big red sort of cherry baseball size pitchers I used to get, this is Sibionensis by Marilliana. Um, it is looking so much better. I took it out of its old pot and it was absolutely eaten alive with white powder mold. I put it in this new breathable pond basket. Uh, and then also one of you guys pointed out, and I'm thankful for that, that it needs more uh, shade. So I removed it from the light and put it back here and it is responding very well. I also treated it with some neem oil and it's doing fantastic. Can't wait to see what it does. Next up, we have one that I have not seen for sale in a very long time. The only place I've ever seen it is Bergen Water Gardens. This is Peltata by SB1. SB1 is an unnamed, uh, Nepenthes out of Sumatra, uh, Sumatra. They get extremely large pair, uh, pitchers. And then of course we know Peltata. As you can see here, it is growing. Uh, it's got a lot of those Peltata features in it with the red leaves and the way it bushes and creates all these basils. The pitchers themselves take on sort of that Peltata sort of um, exaggerated mouth. And then they get this Sumatrana, this, the, uh, sorry, the SP1 is almost like parchment paper. And so they got that as well. Cool plant have not seen a lot of that. Now, next up is Jungle Bells. So this one's really cool. I think everybody should have this in the collections, whether you're a beginner or otherwise. This is called Jungle Bells for a reason. It's got that really long tendril, which comes from the Sibionensis. And then it's got that peristome from the Sibionensis with the scalloping there. Uh, but it stays just about like this. I mean, they will get a little bit bigger, but not a whole lot. Uh, just a lovely plant. plant. It's got the ventricosa strap leaves and it just does uh, its own thing and I love it and it's so easy to grow. Uh, I recommend it for anybody. Now, if you'll remember this one from when I first started, and this I haven't seen this hybrid up for sale for a long time. This is uh, Spatulata by Merliana. If you remember, this thing was on death's uh, door nail or doorstep, whatever you want to call it, whatever. Um, and it has since made a huge comeback. This is the um, the original grow. Is that grow dip? So this is the original plant. These are the ones I really care about. These are the um, basils. It's got two of them, and you'll see here it's got a spatulata shape, and it's got that little bit of red characteristic from 
the um, Merliana. Now, I have not seen an adult version of this, but I can imagine that it's absolutely going to get enormous at full growth. Um, be fun to watch and see. And the next one is from Todd's Tropicals. Uh, I got this one about a month ago, and it's already produced two basils. It's got one big one. Believe it or not, when I got this plant, that did not exist. Uh, and then it's got another one that a node activated, and it's starting to grow. It has not pictured yet. I'm totally fine with it. It is Ventricosa by Bongzo by Meruliana. He has more of these for sale, by the way, on eBay currently. Um, right now, it's focused on putting out basils. Couldn't be more happy about that. I'm going to let it do its thing. This plant, you guys have seen, it's a struggle, and it always has been a struggle. Raja by Rob Cantley. It's got a new growth coming out there, but I am an absolute klutz. I need to put this in, in a cage. As you can see, I broke the growth tip again. Uh, but fortunately, this isn't all the way broken. You can already see the tip growing through there. Uh, give it a week and I'll have a new leaf out, but man, that thing cannot catch a break. Down here, I've got some of the uh, spatulata by Rob Cantley Eyes from Predatory Plants. I ordered a three and they sent me four and instead of four plants, they sent me four bunches, which I love. And so now they're getting big, right? So they're starting to look like extra smalls instead of seedlings like they were. And I'm super, super excited. These will get just about as big as you could possibly ever want to see in a Nepenthes. Well over a foot tall, humongous, fit a ton of fluid in them and they're absolutely gorgeous. The peristone on them are insane. Next is this absolute giant of a plant. This is uh, Spatulata by, uh, uh, gosh, Truncata Titan from Predatory Plants. And as you can see, it's putting out these humongous, humongous leaves. And it's actually working on a basil right there. Very hard to see. Uh, and it's got a new picture. So this is that one that will get, um, I mean, this thing is big enough to eat animals at full grown. This one is working on, I can't wait to see. It's kind of like a lime green to a yellow uh, pitcher body with a orangey yellow peristone. Very excited to see that. <clears throat> Starting to lose my voice. Next up from Todd's Tropicals, this is Hamakua by um, oh, Truncata Giant. It, this one I got maybe this about a month ago. Took a long time to settle in. Um, here's a picture on it. It's very muted. This is the one it shipped with. Um, this will get very bright, vibrant green pictures, nearly the color of these leaves. And they get a very, uh, very exaggerated trumpet uh, shape. Very skinny at the bottom, very wide at the top. And uh, just enormous. A foot and a half tall easily. And this is the newest leaf jump. So here's the plant before when I got it. And this is the newest leaf jump. Essentially takes up the entirety of the plant. So very happy to see that. I was very worried about it. Uh, it is growing just fine. All right, before I go to these big ones, this little guy here has been a slow grower. This is Truncata by Campanulata by Clipiata. So I'm ex this is from Carnivero. I'm expecting very squat pitchers with a very wide mouth and then a sort of that, that uh, Clipiata shape that you're used to. Uh, not a lot to see. The pictures on them are really cool. They get this like almost like a milky pink color. Very, very nice. Over here, we have the, I made a video about this recently. This is the Truncata uh, JB by Payson. Um, and so the fan, I just turned on, so I need to talk a little louder. But um, it is always done phenomenal, continues to do phenomenal. Look at that leaf jump. Um, that is a huge leaf jump. And then this pair, uh, this picture is just beautiful. Beefy, boxy, tough, and just beautiful. So very, very, very happy to own this and excited to see. This is a smaller version of this. Currently is for sale at Carnivero if you're interested. This next to it is a Truncata JB uh, by Truncata Giant. And what is so cool about this one, it's one of the only Truncatas I've ever seen that has such a purple interior. So the pictures themselves stay this lime green and the interior is this bright, bright plum purple. It's very hard to get it on camera, but absolutely stunning. And these two together, I cannot wait to have them housed together and just watch them grow in that contrast of color. Next, this one's also for sale currently at Carnivero, a smaller version. This is Marpesa by Truncata Giant. 
And so you've seen me feature this one a lot. I love it. It is easy, easy growing. Um, about a month ago, it got some thrip. I treated it and it has since rewarded me big time for that. So easy, easy grower. Marpesa, from what I can tell, I could be wrong, is a version of like almost like a Miranda. Super easy to grow, Maxima-ish, and then Truncata Giant. So you can almost imagine a Maxima by Truncata Giant here. Very, very excited to see that. Here are two more uh, bushels of that spatula by Rob Cantlei. Here you can see there's one in particular that's really taken over. And then here, the cool story about this one is all the little tiny plants. I'm having a hard time getting it focused, but this thing's got probably 20 plants in it. And you can already start to see a little bit of that red peristome. This plant is known for not only having enormous pictures, but the peristome is huge and flared and exaggerated with the two parents and gets very, very red. And you can tell it's already doing that. Next up, I made a video about this recently. Super, super excited about this one. This is Alada by Caesar. Now, Caesar is Merliana by Truncata, and Alada is uh, just a, a, I won't say basic, but it's an easier growing form, more readily available form of Nepenthes. What that means is you're going to get huge pitchers and an easy grower. Perfect combination. Uh, Todd's Tropicals currently has this for sale on eBay currently. The exciting thing about this is you know me, I'm a klutz. I broke the growth tip off. This plant said, we need to go ahead and, um, you know, leverage ourselves for having such a clumsy owner. It went ahead and activated three nodes. So within a relatively short period of time, this thing will be a bush. This is one of the few giants that you can grow in your home and it will produce big, lovely pitchers. This one right here has been a struggle for me since the day I bought it. I got this from Bergen Water Gardens. It was small. It is growing, as you can see, but it is barely hanging on. This is a Rob Cantley eye. This is the royalty one, so the Queen of Hearts, King of Spades, or whatever it is. I have always struggled with it. I put it in here to see if it would help, um, and I'm hoping that it'll pull along. I'll keep you updated on that, whether or not it'll survive, but it does not look good. <clears throat> and the last two that I'll talk about are uh, closely related as far as parents, and I'm super excited and I'm hoping this is a male. This is from Todd's Tropicals. It is a Caesar. So as you remember, that's Merliana by Truncata. It's got a new growth coming on it. And I think it's an upper or an intermediate because you can see that tendril curl there. This is a confirmed female and it is a, a very, very, very lovely version. Very stri candy striped, just gorgeous. I'm very excited about that. I'm saying very a lot again. This one is from EP. This is Brutus. So this is Truncata by Merliana. So it's the reverse of this. It produces very large, robust pitchers that have a cream color and have a very stripy. And uh, I'm hoping that this is a male. I can't find information. If it is, you know what's up. These two are gonna breed and we're gonna get Caesar and Brutus and see what that does. So I'm very, very excited about that. All right, everybody, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm losing my voice. I covered a lot. I tried to do it fast as to not take up all of your time. If there's any questions about any particular plants that you have in this collection, please let me know. I will answer any and all questions, comments, concerns, um, anything. You guys have been fantastic. I love growing this community with you. Uh, if you have anything, please let me know and uh, I will go into more detail about it. I hope you have a wonderful night and uh, have a wonderful week. Take care, talk to you soon, bye-bye.